Okay, hi. Um, I'm Lindsay, and I'm still a junior at Miller South. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> and this is The Girl You Left Behind. The girl you left behind listens to iron and wine when she writes. She looks for inspiration in the dismal chords and hopes for something real to slip from her thoughts to her fingers and right onto the keyboard. The girl you left behind had a blanket when she was younger. She convinced herself that it would keep her safe from the Wicked Witch. She was desperately afraid of Narnia and ants in her food and the dark and being burnt alive. The girl you left behind writes pretty words in her notebook, listens to songs and spills someone else's words all over her page in the fancy marker she bought off of Amazon. She listens to poetry and cries. Not because she's moved by the words, no. She cries because of the passion translating through their voices, the pressure she can see exploding out of them, gone, just like you. She sees a smile at the end of the poem, the way they swing away from the mic, and she sees herself in the reflection of her smartphone. She sees a young girl who just doesn't have it anymore, wants the poets to come back, make her forget. The girl you left behind is student council, AP scholar, show choir, and she makes herself fall asleep when she starts thinking too much, when she hears you call her trashy, when she argues over your lack of compassion, when she thinks you're going to leave. She's asleep. When the girl you left behind met you, she had a feeling, a feeling she knew you from somewhere, and perhaps she did know you, maybe from her dreams, maybe from passing by you during CCD, or maybe from the shadow of the cautionary words her mother gave her as a child. Never let anyone else define you, sweetheart. You are so much more than anyone could ever imagine. The girl saw your chocolate eyes and your Pierce Savelle t-shirt, and she said to herself, boy, would I like to know him. The girl you left behind remembers the first time her heart fluttered, remembered the comfort from the blanket, the safety from the witch. You said you never met anyone so much like you. You said you never wanted to let her go. The girl you left behind loved the thought of you, the thought of being held in your arms, the thought of being better, the thought of sleeping comfortably. The girl did not know you. She knew who you said you were. The girl did not know that you would break her. She didn't know that she'd need more meds. She didn't know that every time her hands touched the wheel, she would have flashes of smashing into a building or the middle of an intersection or a tree. She didn't know that all of her self-worth would be determined by the fingers on her thigh. She didn't know that all of... She... She didn't know that when she felt the caress of your lips, she'd want to puke. When she looked in the mirror, she'd see an object, an object similar to that of her baby blanket, one she used to treasure so dearly, but now sees only as old and used, ready to be left behind. But when she found out, she did it anyway, because if maybe, just maybe, the girl you left behind did what you wanted, you wouldn't leave her. All right, judges, what say you? Scores of an eight.